Hey everyone, this is DC's Daily Buzz and we've got something not super interesting to be talking about, I guess. Um, it's not really putting a smile on my face. So the report says that the upcoming Flashpoint movie will be featuring a different version of Batman or it won't be featuring Thomas Wayne's Batman. Instead, it will be featuring my Michael Cadon's Batman from the 80s. You know, as like the concept of opening, you know, opening the, the extended universe to, to the multiverse. So, let's read what the report exactly says. It might be false, it might be right. Only the days will prove. So, um, it says, The truth is that the Flashpoint movie will use another Earth Batman instead of DC Extended Universe's Thomas Wayne. No bad, no bad flick replacement, no Battinson's, no Battinson, <laughs> just making the multiverse. So, as much as I love having the multiverse being introduced being introduced into, into the DC extended universe. First of all, this is a cheap move from the studio. Uh, I, th- I feel like, what is it now? You're, you're letting the CW run the extended universe. I mean, it's nothing like the comics. And I know sometimes you don't have to stay as original as possible. You know, writing new stuff in the, you know, in the movies sometimes turns out to be all right. But I feel like with the Flashpoint storyline, the whole thing won't be work, won't be as good as Thomas Wayne's Batman. And second, um, I feel like you know the multiverse should be explored where we have, for example, Ben Affleck playing an evil, not evil actually, a completely different er- uh, version of his character from a different Earth, or for example, getting Henry Cavill to play a different version of Superman from another Earth. You know, that's that's I guess what the multiverse is all about. But getting a completely different actor, a complete a completely different version of the character, and an older one, um, and introducing it into the newer movies as part of the multiverse, I don't know. Sounds like a cheap move. The studio doesn't want to, you know, explain what happened to Ben Affleck. So it's like, whoa, where is, you know, where is our Bruce Wayne? Where's Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne? And also, I feel like. Um, Michael's Batman won't be really working with, you know, I don't know. It's a completely different appeal for both of the characters. I just hope the news turn, turn out to be false. Because um, honestly, as much as I'm dying to see the Flashpoint movie and how, how, are, gonna, how are they going to do it, but I feel like there is a huge mess going on with this movie. First of all, we heard that there's a possibility, there's a high possibility for a gender, you know, a gender reversed, uh, reverse flash, you know. So, um, and as 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 ridiculous as this sounds, I'm gonna be a tiny bit fine with it if they go for it. If they go for this direction, instead of casting, you know, a female or writing a female villain, um, I won't be fine with Michael's Batman being on the upcoming Flashpoint movie as the main Batman. Don't get me wrong, I love his Batman. I love his portrayal of the, of, his, of the Batman, you know, of the Batman he portrayed. But I would kill to see his Batman as an older Bruce Wayne in a Batman Beyond movie or in a Batman Beyond show. But for it to be in the upcoming Flashpoint movie, for his version to be in the upcoming Flashpoint movie as the main Batman, as one of the main protagonists, I don't dig it. Uh, I don't like how it sounds like. Both these universes have have a completely different appeal, and this sounds like a thing the CW would do instead of playing a different version of the character with, played by the same guy. So, anyways, I don't want to be talking about uh, a lot about this because it's not one hundred percent confirmed yet. The studio might change their mind. The writers might go for something else. But for the current moment, what do you guys think? Share all your thoughts down below. This is me signing off.